What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out another beta for the One UI 6.0 for Galaxy Z Fold series. This is a Galaxy Z Fold 5 I have got here. This has just received the One UI 6.0 beta 3. Let me just go to settings here. I'll go to software update. Now here, let me just tap on last update. I have already updated the device. As you can see, the brand new version received on 21st October. Uh, the version is ZWG8. And here's the list of bugs that have been fixed and uh, the known issues have been mentioned right here. Now, if I scroll down, you can see uh, it says One UI version 6.0. The version, again, here it ends with ZWG8. And the size is about 711.97 MB. The security patch is, of course, for October 2023. We got the security patch with the last beta itself, uh, which is currently available for the Z Fold 5. Now, as far as the new features are concerned, we do not see anything over here in the change log. It's a typical beta change log we have got, uh, the bug fixes and the known issues. More or less, all the new features were made available in the first beta itself. Since the beta testing has been going on on the Galaxy S23 series and a few other uh, Galaxy uh, S series phones, Samsung has worked upon all the new features and they have already released it for the Galaxy Z Fold series as well as the Z Flip series. As far as my phone is concerned, I did not face any major uh, challenges or major issues as such. Some minor bugs here and there, some minor app crashes uh, was there. Uh, if I go to the home screen, if you look at this uh, Google Discover page, uh, this is not in uh, the full screen ratio. This is still in 16 by 9 nine aspect ratio for some reason this is not fitting the entire screen as it used to fit earlier this might be a minor bug that we have got uh, maybe some applications are not fitting into the full screen it is still in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio now uh, as far as the animations are concerned it's pretty snappy i don't see that kind of smoothness which we saw on the s23 series uh, this is a bit snappier here i wish samsung adds some smoothness to this uh, if i swipe down the notification panel as you can see it is a tad bit snappier compared to the S23 series. Now let's open a few applications and see if it opens up uh, without any issues. Uh, let me open calendar, the notes, uh, I will open a Galaxy Store. Let me open the uh, calculator, clock. As you can see, uh, the apps are opening uh, normally and there is no issues, no crashes as such. Let me go to the recent application. I will open the recent apps that I just opened some time back. As you can see, there is no stutter or any issues here. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, there are uh, hardly any bugs now on uh, the beta version of One UI 6.0 on the foldable devices. Uh, but it again depends, it depends on the region, depends on the update that you have received. Uh, you might be facing some bugs or some issues. You can uh, go to Samsung members application and report it uh, so that Samsung fixes it in the next update. Now let me just go to the software update section again. And let me show you the bugs that have been fixed. Here you can see it says intermittent home screen error, wallpaper icon taskbar. So if you have been facing any issues on the home screen in terms of setting wallpaper or icons or taskbar, uh, that bug has been fixed. Then we've got navigation bar gesture home key does not work intermittently. Uh, that has been fixed. Uh, this force close occurs when smart select crop is operated on the edge panel in landscape mode and a blank screen appears intermittently when operating the quick panel. These bugs have been fixed now and uh, they have also improved the overall software stability uh, which happens with every beta version. So we are going to see a few more beta versions for the foldable devices. And then maybe after a month or so, we should be able to get the stable version for the Z Fold series. Now, uh, if you look at the known issues, uh, these are some of the issues which are already there on the system. Uh, it says night 300x speed shooting does not work in uh, hyperlapse mode of camera. Uh, force close occurs when attempting to set a lock screen notification. Force close may occur in camera, one UI home and a system UI. Samsung Pay Hint is not displayed intermittently at the bottom of the lock screen. The following games cannot be executed due to GOS uh, version issue. This is the game optimization service issue. Games like Battleground, Kart Rider Rush Plus, Pokemon, Unite and uh, etc. These are the games which may not work properly on the phone. So these are some of the known issues which are there on the uh, this version of beta. So if you're facing these issues, you are going to get the fixes very, very soon. Uh, with the next update so just wait for that and if you haven't installed the one ui 6 or, or beta yet i would suggest you to go ahead and install it i don't see any uh, issues with uh, the latest beta that we have got for the z fold 5. i will keep you guys posted about uh, the upcoming uh, uh, updates so stay
stay tuned for the video and i have already discussed about all the new features uh, of one ui 6.0 on the galaxy z fold series as well as the s23 series if you have missed those videos you can go ahead and check out the channel in the description i have left a few links uh, go ahead and check that out to understand what uh, we have received uh, the new features that we have received on the z fold 5 series now the same features will be applicable for the z fold 4 as well and for the flip uh, more or less all the features that we saw on the s23 series will be applicable so if you own these phones you can go ahead and check out those videos which i've already made that's all i want to share with you guys if at all you're interested in this particular wallpaper that i've got on this phone you can check out the description i leave the wallpaper link in every video you can go ahead and download them that's about it thanks for watching i hope you are already subscribed on the channel go ahead hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find it useful thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye